Saturday afternoon, Big Ten hoops in Iowa City as the Hawkeyes play host. Season Tony Perkins is a headliner, leading them in scoring and assists. It's Bill Eck and Jeffrey High Knees Anderson as Wisconsin wins the tip. So they lost four. Much better when they initiate from the post and work outside from that. Right now it's Klesman trying to get inside. Hepburn with three on the shot clock and he knocks down. Lost Wednesday at Maryland. You see Tony Perkins trying to get in that lane. Iowa's got to get back to scoring the right back. Really good move by John Clark. Two come to wall, back out to Klesman. He's going to have to put this up. Patient kicks it out and another three goes down. To the backcourt. Oh, great work on the offensive glass by Tyler Wall. And that creates the reload, but Klesman cannot hit 72. The Badgers were hot that game. They shot over 50%. Store hit one a moment ago. Two for two for number two. And there. And you know what, Brandon? Your teammates got to scream that out. They've got to let you know that the defender's coming from the backside. And then Wall doing what he does better. Uh, rebounding is a, a way to really gauge in energy and effort. 15-footer is pure for Peyton Sanford. Caffrey was going to have a play set up to get someone a good shot there. Sanford, the recipient. Nolan Winter. Foul and count it. Well, I tell you what, Carter Gilmore was such an impressive box out. The ball hit the floor. You don't see that too often. Winner in rhythm. Well, how about Nolan Winter? Was it that not only did she break the record, she did it by hitting a logo three on this end of the floor. And there's a jumper for Peyton Sanford. Here's Sanford again off the mark. Oh, they were fishy over the last couple of months. I mean, you just see when he catches the ball, he is looking to score. Lee, I've seen him a number of times go and grab his teammates. He had Owen Free for 60% in those games as well. And he gets Iowa Writers come. Blackwell, good pass to Wall, and then back out. They're going to have to put it up quickly here. Blackwell, wow. Pinnacle Bank, don't they? They got another win by 19 points today over Penn State there. And Purdue at the top, then Illinois, Wisconsin right there. And then it's, you think Michigan State is starting to round into March shape like we're, we've grown accustomed to seeing. Oh, man. Well, McCaffrey fell, and Chucky Hepburn. Hepburn, a little wild with a pass, but it gets there. Great oh. feed, Blackwell to Crowell. Offensive possession, Brandon. Chucky Hepburn's speed and power initiating the offense. Kept Iowa on their heels the whole time. So that's a tough finish for Peyton. Certainly the right call in the first foul on Tyler Wall. Here's Cricky. Rejected. Well, it's not Klesman. Uh, Tony Perkins might try. Uh, Hepburn there with that, picking up that first foul. He'll have a thousand points for his career. And now he sits on 999. Low key everywhere else, though. There it is. Welcome to the 1,000 pointers. And the Indiana Fever have the number one pick in the WNBA draft. So that kind of thickens the plot a little bit. Oh, no doubt about it. <laughs> oh, there's a nice feed. In. Iowa is really struggling defensively here to start this game. Wisconsin's getting any look they really want. There is Connor's brother, Patrick McCaffrey. And already five of seven from deep. So any, any kind of way they want, they're able to score. Yeah, that's they've hit their last five shots of the Badgers, and they're up a dozen. Freeman spinning and using the left. Kick out, Hepburn thought about it. Back down into the big fella. And he gets revenge on the young freshman. He does. Back and down, Crowley into the lane, then he gives it up. Way off the bar game from the jump. Good help defense by Peyton Sanford. Inside Gilmore patient, and he's fouled. Yeah, when you can get a guy that's 6'6, six, 6'7, six, six, that's as strong at St. John's. Mike Anderson was fired, of course, Rick Patino, the coach there now, but AJ Storr wanted a fresh shot fake there from him. Oh, he almost dragged that pivot foot. Sanford contested and off the mark. 
Out of bed. Maybe it just gets better with age as you stop wrestling. I don't know. Yeah, it might be. It just looks painful. Ten footer is good for Laji Dimbele. Use the rim. Nice reverse. He played with his dad, Glenn, at Illinois. Yeah. Glenn was a player. I don't know if he's as good as John. Though. <laughs> Dix lays it. That's right. That's right. He's there, 84 to 88. Hepburn stepping back, long three, left it short. I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> and also, he wants us to tell you that you're supposed to seek medical attention. Josh Energy, the sellout cry, trying to give them more of it. Crowell, he can shoot that, and he knocks it down, nothing, but he missed it. Here comes Harding. Open look. Ah, this might be Brock Harding's coming out. So for Peyton Sanford, he's going to have to get help. Harding was there for a moment. Store cutting down the lane. Off the glass. Tough finish. Yeah, they know each other well. They're tan I mean, in us looking at Owen Freeman, the fact I almost messed up there. <laughs> <laughs> I had to catch myself. You caught yourself, though. Yeah, I had to catch myself <laughs> in a lot of ways on the offensive end. Free throw goes down. 16 of them. That's a, that's a hit stat. Just showing here. Yeah. They made some headway here on the defensive end. Gotch hit the Hawkeyes. Fran McCaffrey is a wizard at figuring out offensive schemes. And he's getting no help coming. Freeman already in double figures. Store in double figures as well, and you can give him two more. Man, well, he elevates like he's always your man. Oh, that's right. I know that. <laughs> you hit the line. <laughs> Love you, I was made the adjustments needed. And they got the pace and the tempo. And weak side. Crowd so patient in there. Using that pivot foot and getting the hook to go. So. Chucky Hepburn guard Freeman right now. Iowa can't get Freeman the basketball. Harding against Crowell. Wow. How about I mean, Tyler Wall only had two points in the first half, and now he goes right back to the bench. Meanwhile, Perkins, who spent the last eight minutes of the first half. A.J. Storr had the big first half. Stop and pop, but off the mark. Get it down to Freeman. This this is a matchup for the future. Oh, he got a right around winner, and we're tied at 40. Iowa a chance to grab their first lead of the game. They have trailed from the jump. No! Can AJ Soar create? Oh, that's a beautiful pocket thing. He can create. He finds Crown on the right. Start this half. Seems to have carried over from their finish in the first half. Josh Dix curling through a screen and hitting a 17-foot. Crowell, they called it clean. Now Cricky on the baseline, Sanford. Boy, those count. In any better position defensively. That was, that was pretty by Peyton Sanford. I did see the face. It was not pretty. Inside, <laughs> good runner. The fair. Yeah, this, with a tempo like this, this may favor the Hawkeye. Josh Dix. Another lead change. Expect him to get activated as well. What a battle this has been between Freeman and Crowell. Perkins fading and hitting. He has really picked. And that is the third foul on Peyton Sanford. The wall has been for Wisconsin. They need Sanford's. In this possession, somebody's going to have to get the rock and break him down. This is the guy to do it. Fading away, oh, pretty right. shot from number 20. Contact, how many wings can keep him from going where he wants to go? And it's in a lot of different ways. He's got 15, he averages a team. Josh Dix thought about it, well, he hesitated, but the jolt on the offensive end and it looked like a much different team. And they're gonna get those opportunities based on being in this conference. Wall off the window. Lucas White down there, because Tony Perkins ran right over him, but he's a pro, stayed in the game. Mid-range jumper, Josh Dix. 
Largest leads Peyton Sanford back in the game with three fouls for Iowa. Heppard over the top. My crowd missed it, and he's going to go where he's been. One and one. Get it up. Got Freeman, maybe? I didn't. It's a little unclear. Yeah. Seven different players between the two teams in double figures already. I don't necessarily disagree to get that rebound. He, it is tough. He, he was, because was. there were two guards down there with him. Great footwork and a high motor. And now 17. And he's gone about it quietly. He doesn't, he's not really demonstrative. He doesn't say a lot. AJ Storm muscling his way to the basket. Want to go, they want to go AJ Storm against Price Sanford. Couldn't get it to him. Hepburn, how about that? Nothing but net from the corner for hey. Looking to attack. Back it down, Perkins. Spinning. Drew the foul. That was. Open look. Crowd with a shot fake. Klesman. Hepburn. Hit one there a moment ago, but that time. Oh, I like this here. Cutting to the basket. Store on the feed from Wall. There's two rock rockets towards these players. In my opinion, on Freeman, I mean, I, I think he's been highly effective in this position right here. There you go. Freeman for two. Defense with four fouls. Wall. Looking for some room. Got just enough with the left hand. But I try, I try Owen Freeman again if I can find it. We'll start with Perkins. Downhill. Oh, to be cognizant of the foul trouble both ways. Can Peyton Sanford stay with Max Klesman and not foul out? And can Cricky stay foul free? How about that spin? And here's Tyler Wall. As patient as you will find in this area. Getting to his spot and putting it off the window. An undersized big at 6'9", but boy, can he get to his spot. He's got all four in the extra session. Sanford with a huge all the way back to 1909. Store down the lane, right to the rim. Beautiful call. Slot of them. Josh Dix downhill, stopping and popping. Tied at 80. 15,000 packed in here. There's a bump. Sanford to. It's a different role for him last year when he was. I'm so impressed with Peyton is that he's upped his conditioning for me the last season. They get it to Perkins. Perkins dancing inside. Hepburn had it. Perkins got it back. Eventually, we needed five extra minutes, and Tony Perkins.